right, we are here. Knuckle Mania 4 has kicked off. There's been a lot of craziness already here tonight. A lot of guests in the house. We got Shift MMA's finest right here. Going to be fighting for a title June 21st. Yes, sir. Hard Rock, Seminole Hard Rock Casino in Hollywood, Florida. We love that venue. Beautiful. We're about a month out, right? A month and a half out, two months Three out? Weeks, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're in April right now. All right, well, couple months out, how are you feeling? How, is camp in full swing or are you waiting yeah. until after today? No, man, it's been in full swing since uh, since Feldman announced it on the Bare Knuckle Show. It's the most time I've ever had to train for a fight, so I love it. It's uh, better too much than not enough, but it's been awesome, man. Doing doing two a days on all my days off, you know, at least one a day on the days I'm at the fire department, and uh, never stop grinding. Tough tough kid you're fighting, Jomi Escoboza. He's won a title in another organization. Tall, long fighter you fought once before. Yeah. What are you thinking about Jomi this time around? Um, you know, his last two fights, uh, he won fair and square, but he looked like he slowed down a little bit. Um, but that being said, I still, I love the matchup. You know what I mean? I, I was able to deal a guy's first loss. Um, to his credit, he's the only victory of mine that I haven't knocked out. So that is the goal for this one. Goal is to knock him out and take the gold. Absolutely. In his hometown because nobody likes excuses. Going into enemy territory. Same state, different town. But tonight, your girl Crystal Pittman is fighting. Sundance, Sydney Smith. New opponent, short notice. Bantam, uh, straw weight? She's a straw weight coming up to Bantam weight to fight Crystal. What are your thoughts on her opponent switch and how is Crystal heading in? So there's not a big a gap as people think. Um, you know, Sydney weighed in at 134, so that's her like training comfortable weight. Cause she said she'd been training for a different fight, like a boxing match or something. Um, you know, Crystal's walk around comfortable training weight is at you know low 140. So there's maybe a 10 pound of their chill weight, but they weighed in the same. Um, and again, so the girl's in shape. I'm happy that Sydney Smith stepped up and took the fight without hesitation. Um, to have two cancellations in a row for Crystal would have been devastating. Yeah, I mean, she puts in a lot of time, um, every bit as much as, as the rest of us do, you know, training multiple times a day and stuff. So I, I'm excited to see it go down. Um, honestly, to me, it didn't matter who the replacement was. Like, I fully believe in her that she would smash. Like, she is just day by day getting so much better. Like, it used to be like when she first came, I'd kind of play with her when we spar, act like, you know, no big deal. Now I actually have to protect myself because she's like cracking me and pulling like moves from different angles and shit. I'm like, what's happening here? So she's got nasty. She's not gonna go out there tonight and throw a bunch of overhand rights. She's gonna she's gonna show some of these skills off. I, I think she needs to uh yeah put that one to bed and kind kind of mix it up. Um, she does have a good overhand right, but it's not like it used to be. It was like that was her like only weapon. You know what I mean? So I think you'll see a, a diverse skill set tonight. All right, well, we're excited to see her fight. It's going to be happening really soon. We're excited to see you fight June 21st. Thank you for your... Oh, before we go, main event, Mike Perry, Tiago Alves. It is in your weight class, 185 pounds. Who do you got winning that one and how? Um, I got Perry um, by finish, and, I, you know, they're both awesome guys. I like Tiago on that. But I like to use apples to apples in comparison. For this situation, it's Julian Lane, right? In my opinion, because I was there... I thought Julian Lane beat Tiago back in the day. It was a close fight, but I thought he won. And he did take that fight on short notice, too. So I was, I was impressed by Julian. Um, him and Mike Perry went the distance, but it, it was it was clear cut that, that Mike won that one, even though, you know, Julian does always bring a good fight. So using that for kind of a basis, I think Perry takes it. That MMA math, they call it, right? Yep, yep. Absolutely. All right, final words for anybody that's going to be tuning in June 21st when you go for a title. Uh, don't blink, guys. You know what I mean? These fights, 90% of them don't go the uh, don't go the distance. I think my ratio is even a little higher. So come on out, support. Don't blink. All right. Well, hey, hey, let's get the Wolf Pack back together tonight yeah. after this victory, huh? Four best of strength. Yeah. Jared Warren, Shift MMA, Knuckle Mania Four. Go have some fun, bud. Thanks, guys. All right. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.